<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. All right, so last time we ended up uh, thwarting Nefera's nefarious uh, plans for attacking the avatars or challenging them. So, we're gonna go ahead and do the follow-up to that. Rise of the Dragon Mage. Yeah, I already tried to record this once, but uh, I ran into some problems when the recording was done. Oh, my bad, I forgot to read her little blurb there. Nathera, you're back. Good, good. We need to have a talk. Oh boy, here we go again. I wonder what I did this time. Better rep reply properly, though. Yes, Warlock, I just got back from surveying that tribe of wind elementals. They have been sweeping up diamond dust into their funnels to enhance the power of their gusts. As you posited, that was an excellent thought on your part. Which brings me to my point. You have removed him remarkably since your mischief last summer. Oh man, an entire summer has gone by. It wasn't mischief, that was destiny. Hmph. It should have worked. Really? You didn't learn anything from that? I understand that the only way my magic will be returned is if I work hard and try my best. So I have been. That magic is mine, and it's my right to have it. There is so much I should be able to do. And you will, one day. That's why I think it's time we began furthering your education. It is. I mean, it is. Now let's discuss the matter of your magic. Even better, let's give it back. Thera. Fine, discuss away. You know you have your human magic from your father, yes? That's what let you act as my apprentice while your other magics have been blocked. Right, but it's not enough. I can feel the rest of my magic inside me, like it's pulsing behind a glass wall. I can almost touch it. You're sensing your dragon magic and your void magic. Void magic? I knew about the dragon magic, but... Before you ask, I will explain. I will try to be brief as you young ones are impatient. No kidding, right? I am not impatient. <laughs> I disagree. Like, I'm with Warlick here in Thera. There's just so much to do and so little time to do it in. I'm I'm efficient. You get you get a longer lifespan than the average Joe. You need to calm down. Please go on, Warlick. What is void magic? It's more properly the void element we will discuss today. Mastering the basics is the first sign, is the sure sign of a steady foundation and an education. Take this tome; it contains advanced magical concepts and practices which you can benefit from studying. You are familiar with earth, wind, fire, and water. I know you have studied them extensively these past months, but there is another major element that we've never covered: that of the void. Why do I get such a funny feeling when he says that word? Yeah. Like recognizing something I forgot a long time ago. I'm not very well versed in the void. I know that I know of it, that it exists, but I'm not attuned to it like I am the other elements. I can't manipulate it or touch it, only study it. This will be your area of expertise one day, Nathera, so let's begin. You should know my methodology by now. To learn something, you must study it up close. And then study it over and over and over again. So this void element, we're going to study that now. And then you'll tell me about the void magic? Exactly. <clears throat> and the best place to study it is the void itself. Yeah, I forgot that... The Void is a place you go on, or you go to, a few times later in the game as well. 
and uh, yeah, I forgot it was a thing here. Anyway, Nathera's got some better moves than what she was packing when we were um, using her as a child. weird to me that that one shows like her shooting oh I couldn't use these before it's probably because of how far I got in to the quest it's okay though I'll probably use them no it's interesting that the void elemental looks so much different as far as like it's got like the same kind of, you can see how it would be an elemental. It's got the same kind of like shape almost as the other ones, but it definitely looks decidedly different. All right, I flicked that sucker with stun. Um, rain heals you, so I'm not gonna just Go ahead and use that when I don't need it to. That makes it so that they'll miss more. I actually haven't seen this yet, so let's have a go. Oh, I didn't realize it was a buff. I thought it was going to be this really impressive looking attack. Attack with a blindingly fast strike. Alright, let's try that. And it does light damage, that's not too shabby. Um, smite the entire battlefield. Alright. That was pretty cool. And then a roar here. It was probably a bit of a waste since uh, that was pretty cool too. A little weird to me that that one does light damage though. I was expecting fire. This thing survives. I'm gonna use that rain move. So. Right. Cool. Oh, bummer. Ha! Huh. Nerd. Missed one of them. Should be able to just kill it. Okay, I grossly overestimated the power of the regular attack. Um, I'll just use flame.
If you're wondering what's down, it basically is like a little loop back to the uh, screen we were at before. It moves in like a bit of a rectangle. Just going straight to the right is the best way to go. Go ahead and use this again, because mana. <clears throat> We're going to use this as well. I was, like, trying to find my drink, and I couldn't. I hate it when that happens. I see 15 and 18. I was expecting that when I tried to finish that one thing off a few f fights ago, I was expecting that to happen. And I got 5 and 4. Something resist the darkness, is that what my problem is? Uh, that explains it. Um, well, we'll use this first. Um. This next, and then probably haste. Haste is what I'm feeling with like my next attack. Will be. Oh, oh. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, nice. It's a really cool looking environment back there. And the whole like screen just looks epic. Come to us, dragon child, come. Who is that? Where is that voice coming from? Now is not the time to learn that answer. Any introduction like that should be taken as a warning, not an invitation. But, but, I like the, like, menacing eyes in the background here. Or maybe, I don't know, wings with no bodies. <laughs> uh what are you up to there, Warlick? We're all shiny and stuff. Oh, he's just teleporting us out, okay. You should have let me talk to the voice. It knew who I was, it could have helped me learn my magic. No good can come from that voice. If it had been friendly, it would have shown itself and offered an introduction rather than trying to lure you to itself. But it knew something about my magic. Now is not the time for you to regain your magic, Mathera. We are beginning the process of further educating you so that someday you'll be able to have your magic restored. Soon, soon, soon. Never now. I'm tired of... St I, like, I like it when she goes back into her pose on the overworld. All annoyed and stuff. It cracks me up. I'm tired of some days and soons and maybes. If you won't help me get my magic back, I will find someone who will. Man, she's gonna go to like Zan, and even worse, like Sepulcher or something. Small chunk of the void.
Alright, what do you got here? No loss, no gain. If Warlick won't help me get my magics back, I'll find someone who will. She said as much at the end of the last quest, yeah. Oh, that's way less sinister than I thought it would be. If Warlick won't help me, maybe in someone or maybe someone in Sunbreeze Grove will. Who are you? <laughs> so hostile. Where's Lady C? It, it's interesting to me that she has a rapport with Celestia where she just abbreviates her name. I need to speak with her, it's urgent. Hello, Nathera. I'm Eliza, the lady's apprentice. She's told me much about you and your mentor, mentor Warlick. Well, I forgot that she shows up this early. Oh, don't mention him. I just came from him. He's a stodgy old magic muffler. I need Lady C's help with some business. Regaining your magic, possibly? Exactly. How do you know? I said I was told much about the recent events that have affected the realm. Unfortunately, she's gone now. I've been left to watch and tragic. Er, wow. Practice my dragon magic and make myself useful to visitors. Um. Now, I have a hard time imagining it was meant this way, but the quotes around make myself useful to visitors makes it seem really mean. Although I have a hard time imagining that Celestia would say that, like that, anyway, I suppose that includes you. So how can I help? You know dragon, you know dragon magic? Are you any good? You look awfully young. Well, so do you. And I'm learning fast. I know more than I did a month ago, that's for sure. I won't go into the mishaps along the way. No one needs to know about turning that baby Dracolich's bones pink. Or that time I grew wings and a tail, but in reverse order. No, no one needs to know about that. Well, could you help me learn my dragon magic? I suppose I could teach you a few basics. How long have you had your magic? That's the thing. I don't have my magic. Warlick kept saying he'd give it back, but he wouldn't. But then he wouldn't, and now I'm trying to regain it on my own. That is a problem. I can't help you with that, but I think I know someone who can. Welcome to the Clarion Wood, home of the Crea Show. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but, you know, a who? Cough. The scent of wildflowers fills the air. You hear a spring babbling in the distance. The air shimmers. Elucidus. Ahem, thank you, young priestess, for bringing her. You've done exactly the right... Or, you've done exactly right in bringing this one here. I'm right here. Don't talk around me. Talk to me. <laughs> All hostile and back to the overworld sprite there. Easy, child, easy. You are in a restful place. Anger and impatience have no place here. Well, where is here? As Eliza said, this is the Clarion Wood. Where the creation. Blah, blah. I am the eldest, Elucidus. We are a species of void dragons, and as such, we are the perfect creatures to assist in your search. You already know what I want. You can sense it, your magics, can't you? If you are here and seeking knowledge, then the time has come to tell you of them. Yes, finally, someone who sees things the right way. Don't be over hasty, dragon child. Hear what I have to say before celebrating. Your dragon and void magics, and you have plenty of both, which I'm sure you can sense buried deep inside of you, have been locked away. Yes, my parents blocked my dragon magic because of some piffling little experimenting I was doing when I was younger. Not fair. Be that as it may. And Warlock just mentioned there was such a thing as void magic. Um, why didn't I know about this before now? And so you are void dragons, like the void element Warlick told me about? Not exactly a little one. 
Warlick, great as he is, must have received some misinformation in his travels. The Void, though element-related, is not an element. The Void, as a place, lacks all elements. It is indeed a void. Now that makes sense. Um, uh, but there are mysterious forces in the Void. It is these forces that you will wield with your magic. You are kept the not you uh, you are kept from the knowledge because you have the potential to be one of the greatest mages of our world, as great as Warlick, if your path is guided correctly. So you see, we had to block your knowledge <sighs> and access to your magic until you are of an age to understand and respect the power you control. Okay, well. She's not there yet. <laughs> it's my magic. I have a right to know. What's going on with her hair? <laughs> it's just like wigging out there. Like there's, like the wind is tussling it or something. <laughs> I can't learn to use it responsibly if I'm pre prevented from accessing it after all. Everyone says be responsible, Nathera. Grow up, Nathera. But how can I do that when I'm sheltered like a child? Oh, her hair stopped. No one believes in me, they just see how good I can be. I just want to learn. Oh. <clears throat> I like her. I liked her angry walk cycle there. Nathara, wait, please don't go off by yourself. Oh boy. 